everyone, welcome to Tipsy Tooth Talk. I'm Dr. Carlin Palmer Blue. And I'm Dr. Michelle Bishop, and I say tea cute because I can't say it. <laughs> and right. we're here with ranch water and bad breath, bad halitosis. halitosis. We're <laughs> going to talk about that. But first, we're going to start with a Texas uh, quintessential drink, ranch water. What is ranch water? It's a pretty clean drink, actually. It is basically just tequila, some tonic, and a little bit of lime. So I hope we like it. And we only had a little bit of lime, right? Yeah, we only, we only had, I squeezed it and we only had a tiny little bit of lime. All oh, right. Look so, at this fancy tequila. Okay, so we're using number one tequila, number one. And this, okay, kind of a, a funny quick story here. This is Ron White, the comedian's um, tequila. If you don't know who that is, I could recite an entire um, <laughs> show for you on it. I personally, when I get on a plane, can recite the whole plane going down thing. Um, but I won't, I'll spare you that. Anyway, Ron White's tequila, number one. And so I will need to tag him today. Yes, Ron White. Yeah. He's coming soon. <laughs> uh, actually, I think he's going to be, I'm going to be in Vegas this weekend, and I think he's there. But I can't go. <laughs> okay, anyway, so number one, tequila. And we are going to do a shot glass full of that. <laughs> As opposed to giving you measurements, just fill her up. Just fill her up. Because you know she can't see the lines. <laughs> so oh one in each. Gosh. I wear glasses at work. <laughs> so um, a whole one in each one, or am I splitting this? No, go ahead. Okay, I'm not using my amazing dividing skills. No, just okay. one and one. And then we're using, again, the um, Gucci tonic water um, fever tree. Yep. Premium Indian tonic water. Amazing. And basically, we're just going to top this. And again, using my little handy... Um, tooth opener because teeth are not tools please make sure you're using a opener for this so we're just going to add some tonic i mean this is a pretty easy drink we're just going to top that off and now we're going to take our freshly squeezed lime juice which you don't need a whole lot which is good which is good because that's all we had it was just like that much you probably get to stir it yeah and then you get to stir you stir with the fancy Production crew. All right, we're spot on. I had to squeeze all the lines so I don't even have a garnish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're flying by the seat of our pants. Today. Yes, today has been it's been a Monday, but it's Tuesday. Mm. <sighs> yeah, so, we're discombobulated today. Yes, we have lots of reasons. <laughs> now, <laughs> ranch water. Texas ranchers they probably just sit around and sip it. Or for our purposes, you could add a straw and sip it that way. Cheers, cheers, to beautiful smiles. smiles. I know I drank, but I, I'm sorry I didn't. I, I was I'm something it's, terrible is gonna happen. <laughs> it's Monday, Tuesday slash Tuesday. Okay, it's back up Monday. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Our kids had a lockdown at school today. Yes, it was it was disconcerting for sure. And I'm wearing this as my excuse to be delayed. Okay, Dr. Bloom here <laughs> ran the San Antonio Rock and Roll Half Marathon on Sunday. 13.1 mm -hmm. okay. miles, she's got a little shiny medal for it. Isn't that cool? That's I slipped cool. in. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even register her, I slipped in. Um, I saw your post on Facebook about 10 o'clock when I got up, so. Yeah. Cheers well, to you. Thank you. Cheers to Cheers. you. Cheers. So, I have to say, I got started doing this. This is only my third one. Do not call me a runner. That I am not. <laughs> um, I do most of my working out at a place called Hot Works, which we'll cover another day. She does too. Yeah, I actually did that on Sunday, so I did do something. Yeah. Well, but later. Good. No, I should have gone with you. I could have used the heat. <laughs> um, but I started doing this basically because of her. My dad was a marathon runner as a, when I was a kid. He did an ultra. He's running, 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 running. Run, and I was always like, not going to do it. Not going to do it. I can't do it. All of my friends, if any of my Navy friends are watching this, they're going to be like, she ran on voluntarily because she used to complain like <laughs> nobody else. Somebody was on chasing her. Yeah, somebody was chasing me. But, um, yes, so... Uh, Dr. Bishop started doing it with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Yes. 
And then she told me about the Nike women's run. Yes, bring it back, San Francisco, bring it back. And so I was like, ooh, I'll do that one with you and started training. And then they didn't have it. And they didn't have it and they haven't had it since. And that wasn't because of COVID. That's been a few years now, San Francisco. It was Francisco. 2014 yeah. when I did the first rock and roll that I did. Yeah. San Francisco, hello, bring it back. So after the race the other day, I met somebody who told me we should do the Vegas one. <gasps> Oh, well, yes. It's February 27th. Yes, and I almost signed up for it the other day. Well, let's do it. Because it's at night, and here's what I don't like about marathons and half marathons. So early in the morning, I'm not a morning person. Mm -hmm. But you run the strip at night. It's kind and of you fun. just like most people walk, and you go in the gas. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Well, okay. All right. Well, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Looks like we have a trip to Vegas planned. Yay. <laughs> so meet us there. Okay. Okay. So, oh. I have to point out one other thing. Look, y'all, at our cute little custom napkins that say Tipsy Tooth, Dr. Bishop and Bloom. Show off that smile because teeth, gloss those pearly whites. My ride or die, office manager, Katina. She had these made for us. Thanks, Katina. Isn't that cool? That's so Love nice. them. Don't get them dirty. Okay. And um, <laughs> we, do accept, we do accept Tipsy Tooth talk gifts. Yes. Anytime. <laughs> Just let us know. Okay, let's move on. It's 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 the holidays. People might be under some mistletoe. And we all worry about, is our breath smelling fresh? And so I get, especially from adults. I don't know. Oh, I hear, oh, I hear parents. My, my, kids, teeth, my kids' breath is terrible. Yes, so all the time I'm getting the... Breath doesn't feel fresh. Uh, my husband has said something, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, wife, whatever. Um, and so there are lots of reasons. And we start to, when someone comes in and complains about um, bad breath, then we start to go down a list of reasons as to what could be causing that. So number one, I look at, um, I look at their oral hygiene, right? Because they're coming to the dentist and they're wondering like, is it because of my teeth? And so I kind of look at, um, how well are they brushing and flossing? And do they have a bunch of stuff on their tongue, right? Because we think about brushing our teeth, but we don't necessarily think about brushing our tongue. And so a lot of toothbrushes these days will have a little scrubber looking portion. Now this is a completely separate tongue scrubber. And I actually like this one because it has the little um, bristles on it. And so you brush your teeth and then you brush your tongue. Our tongue is just like this big spongy thing there collecting all the smells of the food and drinks we've had all day, coffee, tea, sodas, onions, garlic, all of that sitting on our tongue. So Mucus. we kiss. Yes, sinus. So we could be brushing our teeth and if we're neglecting our tongue, then that odor is staying on there. So number one, I always say, are we, I, my first question is, do you brush your tongue? Um, and if they don't, then that's our first place to start Start with. Um, I like, again, I like this one because it has a scrape or a bristles on it. Um, toothbrushes also have, if you've, if you've ever wondered like, why does my toothbrush have like this weird little gritty looking thing on the back? That's to brush your tongue. Um, I don't love this one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. Um, I think of gagging. Yeah, I don't love this one. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then also the Breath RX one. Have you ever tried that yes. one? That one's my favorite. I, yes. I should have brought one. I, I had some at the office, but they are, they're like $5 for three of them on mm -hmm. Amazon. And they're long white mm -hmm. strips that are like flexible. Flexible. And you just, you know, Scrape. pull forward. So I brush my tongue with that, with a toothbrush. And then I use that tongue scraper. Okay. Um, and this is gross, but during like sinus season or allergy season, you wouldn't believe the amount of mucus that even after you've brushed your tongue, mm -hmm. that a tongue scraper will pull off. And I'm telling you, that's where a good allergies, allergies. mucus, reflux. Yes. Um, We're going to go all down those. those. Things, yeah. So again, I just realized this had a little sample on there. You can kind of feel what that feels like. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. It's like a little, little patch of grass, a little art, artificial turf there. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Okay, so you can buy these. They're in that floss section, you know, where no one ever goes in the grocery store aisle. So they're down there. Um, check those out. Um, there's also different types of, you know, mouth rinses and stuff that you can use. But I really feel like 
mouth rinses for the most part are just a band-aid to the problem, right? Something is causing the odor and the mouth rinses are gonna cover it up. I do like these, I like Cloisus uh, because it has the, and I, uh, now I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on, um, but it has the, um, do you want me to get my glasses? No, it has the, <laughs> I read it so I wouldn't forget it. It has the chlor it has diluted chlorine dioxide mm. and it's a neutralizer. And this is really good. It's very um, easy on your tissue. I don't love, um, just depending if you have other things going on in your mouth, I don't love the Listerines and stuff because they're alcohol based and they can burn. Um, but this is very easy on your tissue. Um, I also like um, the TheraBreath. This is really good as well. And then there is a product called Tooth and Tonic. Um, and thought I had some here at home and we actually sold the last bottle of it today at the office and it's on back order yet again. I mean, wow, we cannot keep this stuff in stock. Really? Office. Yes. It's crazy. Who makes it? Um, Dental Herb Company. They've been around since the 70s. They've been producing this product and it has essential oils in it and it's very heavy. Um, if you have a cinnamon allergy, you cannot use this product. Okay. Well, you can't use this product. So cinnamon, um, it's got other essential, it's got tea tree oil in it. It's amazing. And I'm, once my patients start it, I mean, as soon as we get a shipment in, I have people calling and they'll come get three, four bottles of it. Yeah. It's crazy town. So we're out. Um, but you can actually find it on Amazon. Um, and they, it's not a, so I'm always hesitant to buy products on Ham, Amazon like this that maybe a third party is selling because then you don't know if it's been tampered with. But Dental Herb Company does sell on Amazon. Um, and, and you can find it. it's going to be more expensive. So um, Tooth and Tonic in my office runs about $30. Um, and we really sell it right at what we're paying for it. On Amazon, I think it runs around $36. But I tell my patients, hey, if you can get it, get it. Because we can't get it at this point. And so you're, the manufacturer sells directly to Amazon. Mm -hmm. So like some of the bleaching products right. and stuff that you'll see that we talked about before, sometimes you can get those on Amazon, but- um, Not coming from the manufacturer. Yeah, they're not necessarily coming from the manufacturer, so they might be expired or they might have been improperly stored or right. things like that. So you do have to be careful with um, medical related right. stuff um, when you need it direct from the manufacturer or you need to buy <coughs> it from somebody who knows about the product. Right. So. If people are telling me that they're brushing their tongue, then the next thing I ask about is their diet. I ask about flossing. I ask about flossing too, but you know, if I go through the oral hygiene thing, flossing, brushing, brushing their tongue, and then I ask about their diet. Because what people don't understand, people that like take garlic pills or eat garlic or eat a lot of onions, you can brush, but your body metabolizes that differently and those gases actually, this is very bizarre, but I, I, I double checked it today. Those gases, as they break down in your body, escape into your lungs and then you expel them out in your breath. So even if you've brushed and gotten all remnants of garlic and onion out, if you're eating that heavily, it's still going to come out in your breath. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yes. I, I, I fact checked that one today. Mm. Uh, one of the other things that I ask about is medications. Um, and dry mouth. So saliva is the natural mouthwash of our um, mouth and it's keeping things moist but it's also rinsing away stuff, odors and bacteria. And so if we have dry mouth because either we have a systemic problem that's causing our salivary glands not to produce as much or we're taking medications that decrease that production and there are, oh my gosh, the list is just out of control at this point. If you're taking medication, it's probably decreasing. It's probably your decreasing your salivary. The I would say the biggest one is antihistamines. Mm -hmm. If you have an allergy problem and you're taking any type of histamine, you have decreased salivary flow. And so I go through their list of medications and okay, this is this is probably what's causing this. So now let's look at ways to combat the um, the bad breath or the or the dry mouth, so that you know you have more. Um, salivary production or you're keeping your mouth moist so that it's not producing odors. Um, another thing I ask about is acid reflux. Oh, definitely. People don't realize, now I'm going to be a, this is me, I did not realize that I had acid reflux because I never have that like burpy thing after I eat, um, but apparently I do. 
Um, and an and ear, nose, and throat doctor told me that. But people can have acid reflux, and that's just all that acid coming up. And that's an odor that mouthwash and flossing and brushing your tongue isn't going to get rid of. But getting the acid reflux under control will help with that. Acid reflux is very, is very difficult. I mean, mm -hmm. it is a lot of people, you know, especially in the pediatric population, it's something that kids who have reflux may not know any different. Like, that's their norm. They don't know. It is very difficult for some people. Mm -hmm. And my... Um, um, former significant other um, was having a lot of swallowing issues, mm -hmm. you know, like choking on food um, and having some swallowing problems that would lead to, you know, gagging and whatever. And he was absolutely sure that he didn't have any kind of reflux until he started taking medication for reflux and then felt it all got better. He didn't know he felt bad. But he felt better right um and so that's a that's a it's a thing that a lot of people don't know they have and um it's a very difficult so if you're having breath problems and you and, and frankly we'll go into this on another one grinding problems too oh. kind of the same the same list goes with allergies and reflux and stuff right. like that if you know try try treating allergies and see if your breath gets better because post nasal drip and mucus in the back of your throat affects your breath right. tremendously. If you're brushing your tongue and you're doing all the things and you don't eat a lot of garlic and bleh, you know, try taking some Pepsid for a short period of time and see if it makes a difference. Right. Um, try treating, you know, you just may not know. You just exactly. may not know. Something else you mentioned diet. Mm -hmm. um, drink a lot of water. Lots drink water. a lot of water. I being hydrated and kind of cleansing your system. Um, people who drink a lot of acidic, I drink a lot of coffee. I don't. I drink a lot of wine. I do. And <laughs> um, things that are acidic. Um, so in my population, it's a lot of juice. Things right. that have a lot of sugar in them. Your sugar ferments in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It starts to break down and it becomes very acidic and acids in your body smell bad. Yes. So just like she was saying, this stuff will start to neutralize your acids. Mm -hmm. So does water. Right. Water drink a lot, a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. And so you also touched on the next thing I was going to talk about is <clears throat> if you're in Texas or if you're in central Texas right now, y'all, we're all gearing up for cedar fever. And if you have allergies and you have that constant post-nasal drip, I mean, nasty, right? You feel nasty anyway. Well, that stuff's just sitting down your throat and on the back of your tongue, and it's going to produce an odor. So take some antihistamines, like um, Dr. Bloom was saying, or, you know, try treating the acid reflux. Even if you don't think, I mean, I swore I did not have acid reflux until I started taking Epsid, and I was like, oh, now I feel better. <laughs> and the ENT was like, hmm, guess I know what I'm talking about. I was like, guess you do. So um, sometimes we just don't even realize, even when you think you know, you don't realize um, that you have something going on. So I always check hygiene, um, you know, then I check medications, I'm checking your diet. Um, you know, people that, I have a lot of people that, will drink coffee, but then they also sip sodas all day long. All that sugar, even if it's diet soda, don't tell me you're drinking diet soda. Same thing, all that stuff is just breaking down and it just, you know, produces an odor. So try all those things. There are products to help, but don't just mask it. Find the root source of it, um, either through medications or, you know, changing your diet. Um, you know, find out what's going on and it'll make a difference for you. But I get that a lot, and I know kiddos have it too. All the time. I, I get asked that at least every day. I mean, usually multiple times. Yeah. So. Grinding and breath. If it's not grinding, it's breath. Yes. One of the two, every patient. But this time around the holidays, when you're hoping to be under that mistletoe, mm -hmm. you, wanna make, you wanna make sure that things are good. So take a look at those items. When you're thinking about having a beverage, try and think of a clean beverage, maybe, that doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, sugars in it, and um, drink that instead. It's so not very sweet. 
No, it's not. It could probably use a little dab of simple syrup, actually. <laughs> For us, that traditional <laughs> ranch water. For all of our ranchers out there, this is traditional ranch water, and this is what they sip on. They probably don't drink it through a cute little pink straw or striped straw. They're just, you know, they got it in a highball, and they're just, you know, <laughs> sipping that every night. So, um, a little different than you need a pass. Yes. Thank you, partner. <laughs> so, anyway, that's our little take on um, fresh breath for the holidays. Look for those items. Um, ask your dentist about it. And if you have questions, shoot us a DM and we'll be happy to answer that for you. Okay? Thank you. All right. Cheers to beautiful Cheers smiles. Cheers to beautiful smiles.